What old man? 91 years old. His face still strong. Oh, he probably dyed his hair gray. I'm glad you went back to that dude, man. What's up, baby? What you thought it was? You out here working, baby. All you little crybabies out there. I don't even know what you're saying. What's up? Uh, 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 How y'all doing? What up, y'all? That, that old man on Instagram. The old man. What old man? 91 years old. His face still strong. Uh, he probably dyed his hair gray. He's 30, 91. 91 years old, man. Look at how he built at 91. That's insane. 91 years old, but like that? He ain't 91. Man, I'm telling you, I got me fucked up, nigga. 91 he's like, like he's that. like 61. He's like 91. He doing it then. He definitely will be 91. I want the secrets. I do do that 91. 91, look at like that. Good. Yeah, I want to play arms all big as shit. Yeah, back on boat out of here. He look good. What's up, big dog? Just some wood. Where am I going? Let's two? Let's go two. Alright, I appreciate you guys. What's up, big dog? Good to see you, bro. Let's get this money. We got the squeaky brakes today. We're gonna take this big boy around like this. Oh, stand down. We're squeaking in here. I was wondering earlier because we were driving and we were turning. We weren't squeaking. I was like, wait a minute. What's going on with my truck? It ain't making this normal squeak. Let's go. Give me one time over there, Rick. Rah! Rah! Work! I tell you, I put like cat and dog sounds, glass breaking last time in the video. People were like, those sound effects though, cracking me up. Like when I was throwing stuff in there? Yeah, it was like a cat like, meow. Dog barking and shit. <laughs> Never do that again. All right, my bad. <laughs> Fucking break his machine. Throw some, buff the wood. Buff, 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 buff the wood. That's off uh, son-in-law. Yeah. Yeah, so this dude's installing the solar, guys. We've been waiting a little while because they had to install this pole back here. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to run it from the side of my house. Oh, it was just too much shit, bro. They were like, we'll put it on the back of the house. I was like, nah, nah. But they really like, we'll probably have to do some of this tree, you know? Yeah. Well, if we go through the, the, the roof, I mean. It should be okay? It should be okay. Okay, cool. Well, shit, yeah. Clement, I'll let you get to work, homie. Yes, sir, man. My man, I appreciate you. Let me know if you have any questions. You got my cell. What up, bro? Hello. How you, hey, boss man. How, How you doing? doing? Good, man. Good. Dude, I'm, look. I'm glad you went back to that dude, man. Don't let him punk you out like that, man. Nah, homie. Never. Yeah. Never. Been never a bitch in my blood, homie. Ever no bitch in my blood. In your zip code? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was all just a, a Hollywood gangster film for him. You know what I mean? I was <laughs> chilling, about to have a drink. All right, boss. Yeah, just wait in line and they'll call you. Thank Thanks, you. Man. Take care, brother. <laughs> so I'm glad you went back. Don't let that fool bug you. <laughs> I'm about to stab that motherfucker. Everybody who's real recognizes what really went down. I really am a Christian man, but I'm human. So, you know, sometimes humans make bad choices. We're sinful by nature. We just need to learn from it and grow. And I think that's why God made me lose my knife the next weekend. <laughs> Straight up on the boat. Made me lose my knife. Like Stacks, you gotta you can't be pulling the shit out on people. You almost killed that guy. Not 
not super long. His name's Tony, Antonio. He said I motivated him not to go back to the joint. He stopped gangbanging, he's married, he's got stepkids. His wife's kind of sick right now, so he's got all the weight on his shoulder. Look, his mugshot. I'm gonna give him a call right now. Let's hope he answers this private, guys. When you get a private call, it could be stacks. When did he write this email? It's fresh, homie. It's at 10 a.m. 9.41 a.m. Tone, let's go. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. He could be at work right now, though, huh? Yeah, maybe. He's stacks army. He's probably at work. He's, he's at work, but he got to answer it. He got a double call. Cause I'm like, man, who's calling me private? And then you answer, I'm about to flip on this fool. At least that's me. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded. Oh shit, he, he just uh, ignored the call, dog. We're gonna try again later, Tone. Hopefully you answer, homie, one more time. I'm gonna leave you fresh up on the email. But we're gonna try again later, guys. Cause it's a good message right here. Uh, you know, he emailed me, told me some stuff. He needs a little bit of motivation, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and not that I have time to do this for everybody, so please, you know, don't blow me up with emails. <laughs> but uh, there's a couple people that I've talked to and called. You have already seen in the YouTube, so, you know, when I got time, when I got time. And right now, I just spent too much time. Go a little bit higher now, like eight foot. But see, check this out, when you do that, let me walk look, around you real quick. It's all the way up to the top of your house, if that makes sense. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I would go six foot here in the front. Six foot here in the front, and then I'd go eight foot down the side from the street. That way it doesn't look crazy like a prison. You know what I mean? It's vegetation, it's plants, so the Correct. leaves and stuff hold water. When the water stays up against the fence, and the fence what? Rots faster. Of course. So it kind of be like, really what I tell yeah, people like is... This guy here, I was Oh, no. Because it got the sprinkler there on this side. It's also, that right there is treated. Let's see the points are working at the bottom like bananas. They're yep. kind of peeling up. Yeah, yeah. That's treated. You don't do treated pickets. I can tell by looking at the next fence up there. That's treated. Yep. Only thing that my company even puts up is cedar. Yeah, just cedar with treated framing and a treated 4x4 post. Because the posts and the 2x4s, they're really soaked in that chemical. Uh -huh. So Texas heat doesn't create them to warp as bad. They still warp, some of them. But the idea is you buy it all wet, you build it while it's wet, you frame it all while it's wet, and then when it dries out, it's already all together. Nice. This right here? Yeah, because look at all this. Oh trees. yeah, that's that's yeah. big money right there. That's a lot of trees, man. And I mean, we're cheaper than a landscaper, that's for sure. And we're cheaper than, because we just come in here and just start taking everything. These guys want to make it like it's some type of art when, yeah. you oh, know. Yeah, all just cut. Cutting, it's just cutting the dragon, exactly. So how many trees, one, two, three, we want to take all that down in the corner. We want to go over there as well. Yeah, so all the way around. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when you're putting up this much money of a fence, man, you really want to uh, get everything out of the way. Do it right the first time. Yeah, yeah. Get everything off the fence line. Get That way, because if you, I come back and there's trees and stuff all growing through the fence, I really can't warrant you that. Hey, Rick, you mind hold this one, please? Gotcha. Stand right here, even with that pipe. Okay. Don't really got a mess. We got a couple little ones on this side. Don't really mess with that one. I would have cleaned that one. I'd say just cut that whole thing down over there in the front. That's just gonna mess up yeah. your beautiful yeah, yeah. fence. This one seems to be okay. That back line though. Yeah, that back line is a beast. Yeah, and you got a big one right here too. Yeah. Do you want to build it? I mean, I wouldn't say build in front. It's an option. But then you just got trees growing up into your fence and you're going to have to put money into it again anyway. It's kind of like the juice is not worth the squeeze on that one. Just that one. I just don't want it nowhere. We need to have like a foot, nice foot. And these things right here, if we're going to get them, we can get them the right way. We're going to chop them all the way down flush. So if you put a garden bed or something back here, shoot, I don't want to pull none. <laughs> no, no, no. Pulling them, that's big money. I, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to just say, hey, y'all want to pull them. Uh, but cutting them down with chainsaws and stuff, spending a couple days, Cleaning up the job site, that's nothing. That's normal for us. Cleaning the fence line is what we call it. I'll break it down for you though. I mean, I got all my measurements. I know how many trees. Like I said, I wouldn't even charge you for some of this. If we do it, uh, we'll just take care of all these real quick. You know what I mean? Get rid of them. But I would say just, shoot, clean the whole line up, man. The only things you'll see are these rocks right now and a brand new cedar fence. 
You know what I mean? All right, man, Joe. Joe and, yeah, uh, you. If you got any questions, just wait to Ricky. That's Ricky. Ricky. It's my cameraman. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. He's yeah, putting yeah. all my stuff together. He makes me look like a superstar, man. Hey, that's good, man. <laughs> yeah, this, heck this yeah. Is what, this is the new thing nowadays. Definitely. Put it on YouTube, right? Yeah. It's good. It's good. I like it. Yeah, we make more money on YouTube than I make actually with the fencing. <laughs> it's pretty. Good. It's pretty funny, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I keep doing this because I'm I'm willing and. This is what God calls me to do, that's, that's good, so I just keep on working. I could just be a YouTube famous superstar yep. and do nothing. Why not? But why, man? Well, this so is what you like? This is what I like, man. You know, I that's like to awesome. make people's backyards look beautiful, and uh, you yeah, know, for what you did back there. That's why I told my wife, I said, "This looks yeah. very nice." Yeah, and that fence is like three or four years old. I send you tons of pictures. You got my website on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're ready to come out here and work hard, man. I'll be out here with my guys, you know, digging some holes, mixing concrete. That's good. That's good. Stay, stay fit, stay young. That's it. Go buy some more tattoos. <laughs> where, dude? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have to pay for them. Uh, it's so good. Yeah, it's a blessing. Hey, man, but, I was in the military. There were loads of guys. Yeah. Guys, like, tats everywhere. Yeah, yeah, we were just talking about that. A uh, buddy of mine's like, man, my dentist had no idea. He couldn't tell he has any tattoos, but his whole back and his whole chest and his whole body's cut under the yeah under the shirt. shirt yeah you go to japan you see some of these dudes like that all businessmen yeah so then yeah. they take it off S sleeved out like, whole wow. bodies that's how i'm trying to be <laughs> all right cool awesome, do you let me know if you have any questions all right, Joe. and uh i'll send it over here in the next hour or so okay Sounds good, man. awesome man it was awesome meeting you brother time, brother. yeah no worries thank you yeah, thanks for all right guys new business cards are in for the massage clinic yes i got a lot of them I got a lot of people who need them, man. A lot of people out there need to get this work, you know what I'm saying, by a good masseuse who knows what he's doing. That's my boy Hassan, look at this. Let's pull these up. Boom, look at that logo, baby. The breakdown. Clean. Check it out, guys. Scan that code right there. I'm gonna have Ricky blur out the phone number so y'all don't just call me all day trying to talk because I'm not gonna be the one behind the phone, guys. So you're gonna be calling, you're gonna be getting some random girl. The breakdown. And you're gonna be like, yeah, stacks? <laughs> <laughs> nah, straight up though. Guys, if you're in San Antonio or surrounding areas or even here on vacation, Ricky will put the link in the caption and boom, go get you an appointment set up, guys. Straight up, we're getting more booked every day. Started off obviously just a couple, you know, people here and there from the clinic that he was working at here and there, getting more people. Now we're like literally, booked all week. He's working weekends too sometimes, so, but a lot of the times we try to block him off for the weekend so he gets some weekends off. But Saturday he's at work, so guys, link, go check it out in the caption. Go to the Breakdown SA, baby, let's go. What's up, Stag? What's up, baby? What's up, Big Dog? What's up, Big Dog? <laughs> all in rush hour traffic. Let's go, hey. Even in rush hour traffic, Stax is gonna show love. That's what it's all about. Don't mind that window. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the other car's brakes. Around something, I don't know. Maybe that wasn't my window, I don't know. Squirrel. The thing is, as you get older, man, we need to set aside a little bit of money to put into our health. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because definitely it's it's inside the blood, man. People don't realize it, man. Like, a lot of these guys are in here. You're blessed to look shit aesthetic and shredded and shit. People are killed to look just how you look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But for you to look thicker, bigger, cooler, you got to hit that next level type shit. You know what I mean? Your test might even be high right now. You know what I mean? So... We don't know until you check your blood. And they got all these different peptides for healing. They might say, you don't need tests, you don't need none of that. But we got this, this, and this. And you're like, oh, I can get that. And they're like, yeah, I got you. And then obviously, it's all prescribed by the doctor and 4,000 different compounds they have, bro. And I mean, obviously, you don't, we probably don't want to take all those at once. Let's see what they say, man. Get the blood work. It's good just to even get the blood panel because that's something you also want to know as you get older. Right. Prostate health, what your estrogen is at, how your cholesterol is. 
how you, you don't want to just be going to Walmart and sticking your arm in the machine and pressing the button and seeing what it looks like. I'm accurate. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll, they'll tell you down to the last thing about, you, you can tell them in injuries, you have with knee issues, elbow issues. You can tell them, you know, you're honest with them, you know what I mean? You've never taken anything right. No. So you say, you're natural, natural. You got natty, then you got natty, natty. You got levels to it. Yeah. Have you ever taken test boosters from rocks or any of that? Nah, I'm on, the only thing I've taken, man, was a gap multivitamin. Oh, shit. As far as every supplement, always? Just about. Yeah, protein, creatine, creatine. Like, like for the past years, it's been that way. I'm not a fan of creatine, but there is a new type of creatine out that's not a monohydrate. But see, when you're real lean, you can take a monohydrate because it's actually going to make you retain a little water, which is probably good for you because you want to put on more size. And I always tell everybody, like, when you build lean muscle mass, you still got to have some type of water and shit. It's, it's I mean, really, yeah. really hard to put on lean muscle mass being as dry and as lean as you are. You know what I mean? Believe me. You're going to be putting on one pound a year and shit. Like, <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, I would put on some lean muscle mass and I'd probably put on like five pounds of nice solid muscle a year. But I also would stay in 12% body fat. You, I mean, you're probably at like eight, homie. You know what I mean? I couldn't even tell you right yeah, now. You're doing this shit, homie. I, I can look at you and tell you're like eight. I can yeah. probably, I can't even pinch my skin yeah, or anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there ain't shit there, homie. You know what I mean? Like the, the stuff that you go through every day. Yeah, you wear and tear. Like when I stopped doing the bodybuilding, it was a beautiful thing because yeah, I hurt a little bit from the boxing and my wrist and shit for a little while. But as far as like all around body pain, it ain't like coming in here and banging these weights out in an uh, hour and a half, pulling and pushing and fuck. I mean, that shit ties my muscles up, bro. So I didn't realize how bad I need my boy Hassan until I got back in bodybuilding again. There you go. And now I'm like, man, you can't come over tonight. Oh man, I'm gonna have to start getting on your schedule. Used to be he operated on my schedule for me. Yeah, he's uh, now he's busy. I mean, yeah, it's a blessing, you know what I mean? You done already or what? Nah, bro, I'm just getting started. Oh, shit. Sure. Hey. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. That's how you get in spike target. You know the business? You have a business and you want to give me 50%. <laughs> Easiest way. You'll never there. have to worry about marketing. Yeah. I only get like 4 million views a month on all my platforms, not including Snapchat or TikTok. You got to have no life to life. constantly be posting like that. Like, that's got to be your life. I got so much other shit going on than just social media. Luckily, I got Ricky that's following me around. I would never get anything done for social media. I barely media. get anything done. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell when I'm warmed up, though, because in that 99 pounds, that was all like heavy. It starts to feel real light. Never show the weights that you're scared. You never let them know you're scared. You just fucking handle that shit. Look. Oh. Stacks Army, baby. Where you can see the muscle and you can be the muscle. Let's go.
the fucking cuts. I don't need no fucking spam to see that shit, do I, Cali? Huh? You ain't gotta need no dumb shit to put no spam on me. No one will outwork me on this phone. Real tiny right now. Everyone's laughing at me right now. Surrounding me. Everybody's doing heavy weight to me. It's gotta be done, baby. Nobody wants to hit all the muscle groups. They just wanna hit the arms. They just wanna hit the chest. I just wanna hit my back. Some people like to just hit legs. You gotta hit every muscle group. You gotta hit your core. You gotta hit your back. You gotta hit your glutes. You gotta hit your legs. You gotta hit your calves. You gotta hit your biceps, tries, deltoids, pectoral muscles, traps, lats, which all fall under the back and all that good stuff. But you gotta break down every muscle because every muscle's got stored up testosterone and your body's natural creatines up in there. You need to break that shit up and it starts to heal. You break it up and it heals and you break it up and it heals and the consistency of doing that for years and years and years. Get the gains, baby. The gains. Softball bicep. Let's go. Round three. Take out these headphones. It might weigh something. All right, Ricky, tell me what it says, Rick. 255. Hey, 213? 213. Okay, almost 214, really. Let's do it again. No, excuse me. 213.6. We rounding that up. 214. Twisted steel and sex appeal, baby. It is. Bill got the obliques popping. Yeah? Yeah. I can't see him. I'm looking down. <laughs> I don't even know if I have abs when I do that. I just do it and it flex really hard. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Tired as hell. I don't even want to do this outro. Body hurts. Let's be real. Keep it real with y'all. Because real recognize real. And that's what the Stacks Army is all about. We ain't putting up no fronts here. Lots of different stuff. Meetings and phone calls. And sometimes I find myself working outside with no worries and no meetings and no calls is more, it's less stress. Constantly talking to customers, dealing with customers, customer service, answering people's questions, estimates, stressful, you know what I mean? Heavy is the crown, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it is what it is, guys. I came here, no excuses, no motherfucking breaks, got that money, put in a mean ass back day, I'm definitely gonna feel it. I could already feel my chest from yesterday. Like, as I was doing back, I know y'all been here, right? As you're doing back and you're like fully extended, oh, you can like feel your chest just, it's pain, baby. But it's a good pain. It's the pain you want. Fill it with protein. Keep on building, baby. Building blocks to muscle. Break it down, feed the muscle. Break it down, feed the muscle. And as I always say, well, as I've been saying, we got some recovery supplements coming your way. We're gonna have a pre-workout. We're gonna have a BCAAs, amino acid. That's for recovery, guys. The pre-workout's obviously to help break down the muscle, give you that extra little pump during your workout. And also, it kind of does different stuff than if you don't take pre. It's got different uh, ingredients and stuff in it that other pre-workouts don't have that I personally wanted to add 
for the muscle breakdown, like beta alanine, a little bit of citrulline for some pump, definitely a little bit of caffeine. I'm not too much with the caffeine, but it's got a lot of focus. Something a lot of us lose while we're training is our focus, the mind to muscle connection. So something my pre-workout has that none of your shit has is focus. As always, I appreciate the love and support from everybody, guys. If you haven't yet, go check out stacksarmy.com. Be ready for those subs. People are hitting me up like crazy and they're already gonna sell out right when I just put up the pre-orders. So be ready for the pre-orders, because they will be gone. Guys, go check out stacksarmy.com. Copy some of that Stax Army merch, because you ain't part of that Stax Army. Unless you rocking that Stax merch. Let's go.